What is good YouTube, Lemon here and Mushroom and today we're going to do the class setup for our knifing uh, setup that we've been using or at least I've been using. Lemon has a slightly different setup but mostly the same and we'll discuss that today. This one's more universal. This is for Black Ops 3. If you're playing the beta currently on Xbox One, chuck this on uh, when you get the combat axes. We're going to start off with just the basics. You want to equip no primary weapon um, so you have as much slots as possible to fill up your perks and things like that for knifing. So obviously your combat knife. Um, really cool. You can do your own paint job on them. Um, so that's just a really cool aspect of the game. You want to have two combat axes guys. Um, if you're going for that kind of thing, if you're going for bank shots, feeds, um, always two combat axes is really, really handy. Now, the one thing that will happen if you're using two combat axes is you'll use the wild card um, that enables you to do that. So that takes up a slot as well. So effectively, you're taking up three slots with that. With the um, with the tactical grenades here, you can use concussion, flashbang, even EMP. Later down the track, I reckon shock charge is going to be a massive thing just because they were so overpowered in Black Ops 2. But I'm using concussions. Um, just because I prefer them being stunned, not, uh, not blinded. In the first, uh, perk set up the blue ones, usually we're running with either Sixth Sense or Ghost or both if you want to. Um, another one that you could go with is the flak jacket. I mean, it is really, really handy if you're going, um, to be running against explosives. In perk two, we're using Scavenger. Uh, two other really handy ones that you could use are Cold-Blooded and Hardwired, obviously to keep you off the radar and off of enemy AI. Um, kill streaks and score streaks. If you're using fast hands, it doesn't actually affect anything uh, anymore. So there's no point in using fast hands for throwing combat axes or knifing or anything like that. Anti up, not really necessary. Tracker you can use for uh, like tracking people so you can get feeds on them. But other than that, it's not really that useful. In the last uh, perk class, we're going to use the tactical mask just because um, it's proven to be really, really handy when you, if you get stunned in the middle of the game, it's really, really annoying. Um, and something you can do with your wild cards here is maybe if you want to go for a more um, ninja kind of like gameplay, you can uh, double up on the last perk um, and try and get like the awareness as well. And also gung ho there. Um, I think a lot of people maybe thought that this had something to do with your throwables or um, allowed you to throw quicker, kind of like fast hands or um, strong arm in ghosts, but uh, it's proven during the beta that it doesn't do any of that. It's just for pretty much snipers and uh, red gunning. Blast suppressor and dead silence there are also handy for going for that ninja style. Um, you can swap that out for the, the wild card there for perk 3 greed instead of having ghosts and sixth sense. You could have ghosts by itself and then just your attack mask and your um, whichever other third one you want to go with. Depending on who you're playing against, what you're trying to go for, if you're going for feeds, you obviously want to know where people are versus being invisible. If you're going for gameplays, you want to be invisible. So if you have any other tips that we've missed maybe or you want to go for anything slightly different to what we've done, use this as a base class setup. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you're watching this during the Xbox One beta and you get to have a shot trying them out. Going to have a video coming up just a couple days away for the... Um the specialist in the game that you can use that will help you knifing the best and also using the best uh, score streaks to your ability. So uh, look out for that, that'll be out and then you can cross-link the videos and make your awesome setup. Peace out. Enjoy.